Hello, this is Critical Information Bureau coming from Hall, England. This is Ayong Akumbe speaking. We are the people that bring you the truth, nothing but the truth. Because the truth is what is going to set you free. We don't accept donations. Please make your donations to your interim government headed by Dr. Sako. I want to seize this opportunity to thank Comrade Lamy. I think last week he said something about retaliation. Um, uh, I think this is in agreement with uh, Critical Information Bureau. We've also put a lot of audios out about the fact that we should be retaliating. And that is the only way that this, is, this genocide will cease, will stop. We should be retaliating. Um, I would also like to thank Chris Anu uh, uh, from uh, audio yesterday. I heard that also. Uh, that retaliation is going to be the way forward. Okay? It's very important that Southern Cameroonians don't become suckers for punishment. Okay? That song, They Go Kill With Tire, should stop. We shall fight till the last man standing should stop. We will retaliate. We are not accepting any more punishment from them. If you look at the famous group Hamas that is protecting the, is the, the Palestinians from Israel's aggression, Hamas is known for retaliation. This is not what I am making up. It happened three months ago. I don't want to repeat things, but when Israel attacked Palestine, Hamas launched 360 missiles inside Jerusalem. <coughs> the war stopped in about two weeks, less than that even. The Israelis did not want any more bombing of Jerusalem. Okay, this was indiscriminate bombing by Israel inside Palestine. By inside Palestine. They said ah, they were trying to look for a terrorist, but they killed some Palestinians. In retaliation, Hamas bombed Israel, that's Jerusalem, with 360 missiles. What did the international community do? Oh, stop, uh, ceasefire, uh, stop killing each other. But what made Israel to back out of this killing of Palestinians is because Hamas attacked them and killed them also. Immediately, you don't wait. You understand? When uh, China went and killed some uh, uh, Indians, the Indians killed some Chinese. Immediately. All right, in the border. They had a border clash. Kill, I kill. All right? Happens with Cameroon and Nigeria. Um, when you had the problem of Bakasi, Nigeria killed some Cameroonians. Cameroonians killed some Nigerians. All right? But when it comes to civilians, that is another technique to show to, to intimidate, subjugate, and frighten Southern Cameroonians. You find that the Republic is just killing indiscriminately. If their soldiers are going past the village, they find some innocent people, three, four, shoot them, and they run away with guns. All right? Southern Cameroonians can do exactly the same. Boko Haram is known. I, I'm not a supporter of Boko Haram, but Boko Haram is known for retaliation. The Nigerian government, that's the last person they want to play with. They don't mess with Boko Haram. Nobody messes with Boko Haram. Cameroon can, can say what they like, but they don't mess with Boko Haram. Because if when they mess with Boko Haram, they get their, 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 their people kidnapped. They get their, 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 their soldiers shot. They get their civilians attacked. That's what Boko Haram does. If you, if, you, if you kill a Boko Haram soldier, they will attack you in Abuja. They are going to kidnap somebody. They are going to abduct somebody. They are going to shoot someone. Somebody dies. They retaliate. <coughs> That's just the way it is. Okay? So, um, if you look at um, what has been happening with our civilians, from now, in the last three years, there's no investigation. Civilians die. They don't, they don't investigate. If they kill somebody in a village, the Cameroon army, there's no inquiry, there's no investigations, there is no punishment for that soldier. 
Okay, this is not a mistake. This is a strategy of intimidation. They are coming to our villages and they are saying kill four people there. Because if you kill four people there, then they will, be, they will look at you and they are going to be frightened. Okay, it's done deliberately. That is why the Cameroon army does not investigate their own crimes that their soldiers are committing. Because it is them who are sending those soldiers to do that. Think about it, people. Think about it. Which soldier would just go into a village, gather nine people and shoot them and then walk away from it? When? It doesn't happen <coughs> anywhere in the world. Just go and find nine civilians, shoot them, and then there's no investigation. That is because if that is happening, that means it's coming directly from the government. That is the policy of the Cameroon government to intimidate you. All right. You don't retaliate, you don't you don't respond to that by singing that they will kill us tire or saying that we are going to resist that uh, uh do you know what i mean what you don't you don't put that on social media what you do is you do exactly the same thing to them you got guns they use guns they don't use anything else it's just guns you you get guns you do exactly the same thing across the bongo just the same you find a town you go there you do the same you, they don't tell the international they don't, they don't ring anybody don't complain just say we, we've done that because you did this that 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 is a proper professional that response isn't it all right we've blown that bridge there because you blew our bridge down here okay you burnt a house here we've just burnt yours so yeah they'll say, yeah, yeah we burnt the house back we like to just hear that the, what we want to hear is what you did to them not what they did to you when you do something to them, then you can explain to us why you did it. All right? They born kwa kwa, so we've born a quarter in Douala. The way that's, that's the way. They born Kembong, we've born Bangante. It's down, flat. To burn something is something that a five-year-old can do. They should not be burning any place in Southern Cameroon because they have vulnerable places that can go, 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 go in flames. <clears throat> they do they do have places that can be set ablaze they do they have many of them they have they have so many i don't even know what to, to say they have they, they they have many of these these ghettos all over the place with a little bit of matches the whole place is going to go into flames so what we're saying is they should not be burning our place when they also know that they have vulnerable places for us to burn burning is not technology Okay, we should not be going around saying, "Oh, the uh, five hundred villages burnt." We should have been, we should have burnt a thousand of theirs. So I'm glad that the interim government is 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 supporting this now. That there will be direct retaliation from now on. Okay. They they are just using guns, simple guns. That's all they are doing. Most of the death that we've had in Southern Cameroon has been done with guns, which is replete in Southern Cameroon now, which is ubiquitous in Southern Cameroon. Now we have guns. So what they need to do is that they need to stop coming to Southern Cameroon and killing people. They need to go and discuss politically. It is not a military problem. The military have no reason to be in this, involved in this or dying. It's not their problem. It's not their business. It is a political problem between the, the Southern Cameroonians and La Republic. La Republic does not have to come to Southern Cameroon to cause any, any, any chaos. The people of Southern Cameroon are not going to La Republic to fight. So they should be coming to us to fight. You can't carry your troops and go to Gokujunja and then say, well, they have died. Oh, please, they have died. What, what is that supposed to mean? Why are you going there? Huh? The life of a Southern Cameroonian is equal to the life of La Republic. The towns of Southern Cameroonians are equal to the towns of La Republic. If they are going to invade Boya and cause trouble in Boya, the time has come for us to invade a, 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 a Deya and cause trouble there, or, 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 or Eboloa or Sangmalima. You know, that is what they need to do. They need to realize these boys with guns can get into a Deya. They, they can go into a Deya and cause chaos there. You know, they can just go and shoot a grandmother who is cooking in, in the day. They can do exactly the kind of things that they are doing. If we, you send these boys into those towns to cause chaos, they can. And those people will not be able to fight against them. If they have if they, if been trying to fight against these boys in, in southern Cameroon and they can't, who, who gives them the confidence that they can fight against these boys if these boys go into 
into their towns. They can't. It will be the same thing. They'll be in the bushes, setting up traps, shooting them. It will be the same. It will be the same. They'll be producing exactly the same ca level of casualty. And they, those people will be completely defenseless. At the moment, think about it. We are beating their soldiers. Imagine that we went into their area and we have to just deal with civilians. It's not going to be nice for them. So this is, this. you know, they lost, what, 16, 16 soldiers the other day. And they, they, they've got a um, uh, uh, change of uh, policy. They were, they, that stupid man was having a meeting. I don't know what his name is. He was having a meeting in, in Bamenda the other day about the fact that 16 soldiers were ambushed. They've killed 30,000 Southern Cameroonians. I didn't see they, 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 them having any inquiry. Eh? Nothing. They just killed. They think they think they are more valuable than us. That is the problem. They think that they have their, 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 their citizens have more value than our citizens. All right? That is what they think. Their soldiers can kill us. No investigation. But you kill one of them. You kill two of their soldiers. They have to take up a uh, strategy. They're going to bring helicopter gunships. They're going to bring tanks. Uh, how come they died? This is just the beginning. If they don't stop attacking Southern Cameroonians, we will attack their citizens in La Republic. If they kill a grandmother in Southern Cameroon, we're going to kill a grandmother in La Republic. <coughs> they can't say that it's just a, a collateral. They, if you go and kill a, 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 an old lady in a house, you take her outside and shoot her, you throw a baby in oil. You can't say that is just a, 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 a collateral. And, you know, this is what happens in war. No, that is a deliberate action carried out by an irresponsible uh, soldier. And and the, the time has come where we cannot keep accepting this all the time. We have to start making sure that they are insecure in their own towns. Okay? The, this is this is this is it. <laughs> Well, I don't even know why I'm going on and on. The issue is, it's straightforward retaliation. We, we can't be counting our death at the numbers that we are counting it. We don't, we don't have to count them. We don't just have to target their soldiers. Okay, their soldiers are in tanks. Yes, you can target them. But if they, if they, if they come in and they are looking for individual citizens, somebody who owns a tailoring shop, somebody who is a, 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 a you know, has a restaurant, you just go and shoot a man, that a taxi driver. Then what you do, you do the same thing in their town. They've got more people. Do the same thing. And leave a note saying this has been done by Southern Cameroon Restoration Forces in retaliation of what you did in Southern Cameroon. Yeah. Once, once you hear that somebody has been killed in Bamenda, we need to hear that somebody has been killed in Bafusam. That's the only way. That is the only way. If not, we are going to get into a comfort zone where all we do is announce who has been killed. Because that's, that seems to be what we're doing now. Oh, they killed three people in this place. 16 children were killed in this town. Most of them innocent, completely innocent. Oh, a boy was killed in Tico. Uh, three girls were killed in, 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 in Limbe. Just nonsensical killing by the La Republic soldiers. That, that behavior, we need to make sure that it stops. That's the only way to stop this genocide, is to give them exact the same casualties that they are giving our civilians. They're exactly the same. There will be no genocide. Look look at what's happened where they've just lost some soldiers. Where well, they've lost a lot of soldiers. Yeah, they have. There is no doubt about it. They've lost a lot of soldiers. But they should be very careful. They don't want restoration forces to come into those towns and, and start killing them. Those people who are crying. That's what Saudi Cameroonians are, are experiencing. While they are crying, they are getting shot every single day by irresponsible La Republic soldiers. They should take those soldiers and put them in the barracks and deal with the, the political problem. <clears throat> Not to be intimidating sounding Cameroonians day in, day out by just killing civilians all the time. Farmer, you shoot. Medical doctor, you shoot. People going to church, you just go there, you shoot. Excuse me, what is difficult for sounding Cameroonians to go to a church and shoot La Republic people? They can go to a church in, uh, in, in Yaoundé and kill people. In, yes, I said Yaoundé, yeah. They can just go to a church in Yaoundé, shoot everybody in the church and say, well, this is in retaliation of the shooting that you did in Southern Cameroon. That is, the, that is what you call a soft target. It's an easy target. 
And that is what the Republic is doing. They can't find Amber Boys. Amber Boys have Kalashnikov, they have rocket propelled grenade, they have uh, rocket launchers, they have all kind of things, and they are waiting for them in, I hope, in bunkers. They can't go there. Their tanks are being blown to bits. So what do they do? They go into a village where there are little, little children playing. They see a small 15-year-old boy. They shoot him. He's an Amber Boy. Why? It's a psychological battle. What they are doing is they are still trying to create, you, they're creating fear. You must fear us. We are dangerous. It's not that, uh, you know, they are, they are protecting you. No, what they are doing is saying, you guys should be scared of us because we are bad guys. That's, the, that, that's why you kill a, 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 an unarmed civilian. It's, it's to create fear in that population. They are creating fear and intimidation. That's what they are doing. All this business of violence by La Republic is to create fear in you. That's what they are doing. Burning, burning of villages to create fear. It's called terrorism. La Republic is, is carrying out with a, 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 a policy to terrorize the population. This is a calculation. Please, Southern Cameroonians. It is a calculation. It's not, it's not fluke. <clears throat> it is a calculation. They are using terrorism. They are using terrorism to 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 control Southern Cameroonians. Man, not do them because they will come burn my village. That is what they are doing. Man, not do them like the when they, that's where they come. Man, not play with them because they will kill somebody. Yeah, that used to happen at the time in the fifties and in the sixties or in the seventies when a, a, a machine gun was something that only soldiers could have all right that is when those type of things were happening the moment the southern cameroonians started buying their own machine guns none of that should have been to, to be taking place none, none. If, if somebody leaves betwa or garwa come and be shooting children in in in, in tico you just you just you just find a weird way to get to that place to garwa and just open fire why because you kill five people in tico and we don't the soldier this that garwa picking so we don't go kill five people for a village that's that's the problem. Look look at how they went and shot that uh, woman in uh, in in the, the in the north of Cameroon. That woman with, with 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 some babies. They just went and shot them. That is what I'm saying. Is to intimidate. Their problem is intimidation. So those people in the north should have come to their own day, find a few people, tie them to shoot them. Then they you know, the people would realize that you don't shoot people unnecessarily. And when they wake up in the morning and they walk going in Yaoundé and they, they know that they can be shot at any time by anyone, then they will change their, their approach. They will tell their government that unfortunately we can't cope with this anymore. Okay? So do not accept that level of punishment and killing. Don't accept it. Just tell... In fact, I, I think I'm happy that uh, uh, Chris Anu has actually made that unofficial announcement. Uh, Comrade Lamy has made that unofficial announcement that we will shoot them in their country if they shoot us. If they burn a village in Southern Cameroon, we will burn any village in the Republic. We don't have to even think about it. They will be running around like refugees. Okay? If they come in and intimidate people and shoot villagers inside villages, people who are getting on with their life, they come in and shoot. We just go to and shoot, just open fire in any village there. The United Nations is going to tell all both of us now to stop doing that to each other. And that seems to be the only language that uh, 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 the Republic understands. That is the only way that we can stop this genocide by retaliation. This is Critical Information Bureau coming from all England. Ayonga Kumbay speaking. Until next time, stay safe.